Music isn't the only thing that can be combined to create something new. Animals can be crossbred either through traditional breeding methods or deeply researched laboratory experiments to create something completely unique, just like various ingredients are blended together to create a new meal. Now, prepare yourself as we show you some of the most outrageous things out there. These are amazing hybrid animals that actually exist. Number 1. The Zonkey. Zonkey? What a hilarious name for an animal. But that's what you get when you mix a male zebra and a female donkey. But what is the name when you mix together in the inverse? It's even better, a Zebedon. I'm not even kidding. Go look it up. I know I didn't believe it until I saw it. Animals never cease to amaze me. Because Zonkey are actually sterile animals by nature. They're quite a rare thing to find in the world. A majority of them live in different zoos around the world, and because of the obvious effects of crossbreeding, these animals serve as a great beginning point for any Darwin fanatics. Or anyone with even a remote interest in genetics and biology. Because of these missing chromosomes, along with their inability to breed many animals, such as the Zonkey are not really considered hybrids in the end. However, it doesn't really stop me from wanting one as a pet, because they look super cool, and there's no denying that they have by far the coolest name ever. Number 2. The Alligator Snapping Turtle Now these are some mean prehistoric dinosaurs looking turtles. They may look mean, but when seen in their natural habitats and not when they're hunting, they're fairly gentle animals. Although, it should go without saying that you don't really want to get anywhere close to its jaws, at least not with anything that you want to lose. Unless you do want to lose a hand, then by all means, go for it. Usually found in lakes, rivers, and canals in the southeastern United States. These turtles are actually the largest freshwater turtle in North America. They can grow up to 26 inches, weigh over 200 pounds, and that's a really chunky boy. Their shells sport some spikes on them, which help to deter any predator that may think they have access to an easy meal. The snapping turtle because of this has no real predators in the wild, except for maybe you guessed it humans. The way they hunt is pretty lazy, but also kind of cool. They lay motionless on the waterbed and literally just open their mouth and stick out their tongue. Their tongue does resemble a little red worm. So when the turtle wiggles it, it actually attracts fish and frogs and then boom, dinner is served. Number three, the Liga. One of the more famous combos on our list. The Liga has its sexy combination coming from a tiger and a lion. Talk about an apex predator. These animals tend to be bigger than the two animals that produced it and the females are actually fertile after the mix. The larger size the Liga, biologists believe is due to what's called growth dysplasia or the absence of the growth limiting genes inherent in the original animals. Some of the largest Laigas mostly grow up to be more than 3.3 meters and can weigh more than 400 kilograms. Though, there have also been reports of Laigas weighing more than one ton, even though lions and tigers do make in the wild. It's pretty rare because of how distant their habitats are and how different they are behaviorally speaking. Some of the first crossbreedings to take place between the two came while they were in captivity. Many governments and animal rights groups also believe that the crossbreeding between lions and tigers is very unethical. Though I suppose I don't really see a problem from here. All I see are gigantic fluff monsters who could rip my face off, but they're so cute. I think I might actually let them do it. Before we go on like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 4. The Savannah Cat now, I have a cat she's really small and chill. Though the next one on our list is known as the biggest in the world. Not like a cat breed, including lions and leopards, but domesticated cats. Although the cat does look kind of like a leopard, or it's what I would imagine. Babu, the ocelot from Archer, would look like in real life known as a warm and playful cat. The Savannah cat is actually closer to a dog in its temperament than a cat is. The Savannah Cat is a crossbreed of a domestic cat with an African serval, and thus it's very large in stature. The crazy thing about them though, they could actually jump up to about 8 feet in the air. This also implies that they're very, 
Very good at climbing trees, and no doubt, the Africans are all side of them coming out on that one. Another super cool thing about the cat, they actually really love to play around in water. So when you're out and about with them and they get all dirty, don't really hesitate to give them a bath. They're probably going to love it just as much as when they got dirty in the first place. Looks like my kid's going to be having a new playmate soon. Number 5. The Holfin. Now, what is going on with scientists? Are they really that lazy that they just smash two names of animals together to form a new one? You've got an opportunity to go crazy and you do it with a new name. Anyways, the Holfin is of course a combination between a whale and a dolphin and it has its origins in Sea Life Park just outside of Honolulu, Hawaii, born to a male false killer whale and a typical female Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. The two animals shared an enclosure at the Ocean Zoo, and what do animals do when they get bored? Well, the same thing that humans do apparently. And thus, the world was given this holfin. It's the world's only living 50-50 hybrid of a whale and a dolphin. She is pretty cute if you ask me though. Some people do consider her to be a freak of nature. And to them, I say boo. Get out of here. There are so many dangers, however, to enter species mating, such as killing the mother in stillbirth. So, you have to be careful animals. Always do things safely. Number 6. The Beefalo. Now this one is an inexplicable. Guys, a buffalo actually got it on with a bumblebee. No, I'm kidding. That would be really wild though. This one's much more basic than that. A wild buffalo was bred with a common farm cow. So that's how they got beef and buffalo. You know, the beefalo really clever farmers. Very clever indeed. Just look at those big honkin' honkers. It looks like a male cow who just got super buff and skipped the crap out of leg day when the beefalo are first born. They're actually really small, but it doesn't really take them long at all to morph into these gigantic while they do maintain the size and build of a bison. Their hide is much closer to that of a cow, very short with coarse hairs that cover the body. The beefalo, or a composite cattle breed that were developed in the United States during the early 1970s. It took Bud Bessel a while to find the perfect mixture of the two different breeds. But this mad scientist slash farmer really hit the jackpot with this bad boy. Number 7. The Koi Dock. Alert, super cute dogo coming up. The fluffy McFlufferson show here is what's called the Koi Dog, or cross between a coyote and a dog. Now, I'm going to definitely put this one on my pet shopping list, which I think will only get bigger the further that we get into this list. Because the coyote is a pretty wild, and this alpha pack leader instinct can transfer over to the Koi Dog, making them quite confident and firm dogs. Because of this, it's not usually suggested to keep them as pets, unless you have a well-rounded knowledge of canine behavior in general, and will therefore be able to tame and dominate the pupper. If not, they could really become unmanageable and actually very dangerous for you and everyone else around you. So, I guess I should take it back off of my list. This breed of dog was originally thought to be an urban legend, but thanks to the birth of the internet photography, and real accounts, these dogs began popping up everywhere, and thus, debunking the legend, proving it's the real deal. Now I swear I will learn about dogs and one day I'll have one of these in my home. Number 8. Zubron. It kind of sounds like a cool name for a luxador, doesn't it? Well, the Zubron is not actually a luxador, but a mix between domestic cattle and the European bison, so these guys are mostly found in Europe. This is kind of like a more chill and European looking version of the beefcake animal known as the beefalo, am I right? This breed of cattle has a pretty long history. So, let me break it down for you. Before the onset of World War, farmers in Europe were trying to breed a species of cattle that would be more durable and less susceptible to disease. In addition to this, they could graze on unformed lands and not need nearly as much husbanding as the normal cattle would. That's when they found the European buffalo and saw its potential. Finally, 100 years later in 1958, they got it right and in 1969, after a naming contest in Poland, we finally have what we now call a Zubrun. These are still some pretty substantial animals coming in at a whopping 1,000. 200 pounds. Like many crossbreeds, this first generation of males are infertile, 
but regained their fertility in subsequent generations. So, well done Europe, keep the sustainable cattle coming. What are some of the craziest combos of animals that you can think of, and that you would like to see happen? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.